It has been 47 years that the sociological definitions of the words racism and sexism have existed. That's 47 years of definitions of words that have not been adopted by society. Those definitions are not in the dictionary, they're not in the history books, and that's because those definitions have never been the standard. I repeat, they have never been the standard. People who utterly refuse to use the historical and dictionary and colloquial definitions of those words are usually elitist snobs who want to shame people for not being educated enough. Where it sometimes goes into that whole, you need to get educated, it's not my job to educate you. Even though many of the people who refuse to use the historical, colloquial, and historical definitions of racism and sexism don't have much of an education themselves. They just want to make themselves look more educated than they really are. Or they just want to shame people because it makes them feel good. If after 47 years, 47 years, society still hasn't adopted these definitions of words, maybe it's time to retire those elitist definitions. You know, maybe, just maybe, possibly. The redefining of these words 47 years ago was for political purposes. They were designed to attempt to force change. The truth is, you can't force change that way. It simply doesn't work. They could have come up with singular words to describe these things, these concepts, and they could have simply added descriptive words to sexism and racism, like institutionalized and or systemic. But 47 years ago, they decided that they'd rather hijack words for political purposes, and that's a bunch of bullshit. There is indeed systemic and institutionalized racism and sexism. Absolutely. And when sexism and racism are institutionalized and or systemic, it generally has a more damaging effect to those it affects than when racism is not institutionalized nor systemic. I say generally because there are always exceptions. There are a number of jackasses out there who try to claim that if you don't want to use these sociological definitions of racism and sexism, that you're against higher education. Yeah, to those elitist snobs saying that shit, yeah, please go fuck yourself with a rubber hose coated in sandpaper. If you're going to be that much of an elitist snob, you shouldn't expect to be treated with any sort of respect.